Hey, what's going on guys? It's TV and our frags. I gave Preston here and welcome to a Black Ops 2 commentary today. Not a live commentary for once. I know there's been a lot of live commentaries on the channel. Not enough commentaries. I agree with you guys. However, there just hasn't been a whole lot of stuff to talk about really. So there hasn't been like the need for a normal sit down, uh, regular Preston commentary. But I do feel like lately uh, that I've been so out of touch with you guys and I absolutely hate that because I, I miss talking with you guys and just seeing the comments rev up and, and 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 stuff like that so i do apologize for that i feel bad for being out of touch with you guys but the holidays have been absolutely crazy for me and they've probably been really crazy for you guys as well so you guys probably don't feel as bad as i do about it but uh, anyway so if you guys are interested with what's going on in the gameplay in the background it's a 44-0 flawless team death match nuclear with the fal so not too shabby myself and if you guys are interested and look at this pinch right here I absolutely get pinched, hit marker both the guys, and just bail out the window and do some 007 killing right here. Freaking love it. But uh, aside from the gameplay, if you guys are interested in, I, I believe I'm running quick draw and stock on my uh, my foul. So if you guys wanted to go, you know, pal around with this class and test it out, that's what I'm using because I know a lot of people ask every single time I do a commentary, and I never put the class setup in the description or anything like that because, well, you know, this game's so old. So I figured, you know, people know most of my class setups by now, but that doesn't always happen. So anyways, regardless of the gameplay and what's going on, why my holiday season has been so crazy was because, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm still with my girlfriend who's up here in Canada, 45 minutes away from me, because I live right now in Washington State. So I, uh, I spent Christmas with her and her family, you know, on December 25th and, you know, the 24th Christmas Eve, we drove up there and spent time with, uh, w with them. Uh, but the thing was, is, is also, December 27th, we had a flight to Texas for six days. So, you know, basically, the 25th through the 2nd of January were just Christmas holidays and craziness going around. So, I don't know if you guys knew this either, but I moved up to uh, Washington State about three months ago from Texas, and I haven't been back since. So, I really missed it, and I, you know, I miss my family and my friends and all that good stuff like that. All the food, Texas food is so good. If you guys live in Texas, you guys know what I'm talking about. Or if you visited Texas, we have good southern food, and I freaking missed it being all the way up here in the north. Not that the north doesn't have good food, because that's not true. I love the food up here, but I miss me some Texas southern food, man. And I got plenty of it when I was back in Texas. So anyways, getting sidetracked. I had to spend uh, like the 22nd through the 24th three days to prepare a absolute mess of videos, like 40 videos or something like, or 30 videos, a lot of videos. It was it was very hectic, very hectic. I was like recording for like you know 15 to 18 hours a day or whatever, and then spent Christmas with her family. It was a lot of fun. Uh, There's lots of presents given out, and it, it was just a good time in general. And since I don't have any family up here, it was really nice to get that family atmosphere for Christmas. And even though I don't, t I, I kind of celebrate Christmas and I kind of don't at the same time, I do primarily Hanukkah with my family back at home. But we go to Christmas parties and, and stuff like that, and, and I guess you could say I still celebrate Christmas. I basically get to celebrate all the holidays. I get the best of both worlds, as cheesy as that sounds. So it was really fun to get to spend Christmas and not spend it alone, and it was great that there's a family up here that I could celebrate it with and, and who actually accepts me and my craziness for who I am because not a lot of people do that. I'm very weird and I'm very crazy and outlandish. So that was a lot of fun. And then after that, uh, the next day we had to drive back and I had to prepare a bunch of videos. I had to upload them, schedule upload them, render and edit and thumbnail and do all that crazy stuff. And uh, because our flight left at 2 in the morning on the 27th. So, you know, and then I had to drive two hours to the airport to, to get us to our flight. So things were absolutely crazy. Uh, got to spend six days down in Texas. And, I, you know, like I said, haven't got to see them, uh, any of my friends or family or Texas in a while. So it was a pretty big deal. And I was bringing Sarah, my girlfriend, with me. I'm just going to start referring to her as Sarah. So if you guys are wondering, her name's Sarah. It's just easier this way. So got to go back down there with her. The first night was great. There was all my friends and family. You know, we all went to dinner at, at a place called Cheddar's, a really good restaurant in Texas. They, they probably have them in other places as well. But I really miss that place. It was like one of my favorite restaurants. So my favorite restaurant, favorite friends, you know, my family, my girlfriend. Oh, things were just slamming and jamming, having a lot of fun. And look at this dude camping in the corner. Like, get the fudge out of here. I absolutely turned on him and demolished him. And then, so after that, spent the night at one of my friends' house. Uh, his name is Sam. You guys have probably seen him. He's been in live streams and, and stuff like that. Uh, but he's like one of my best friends. So 
It was so nice to get to see him again. I saw, but I gave him like a, a 10 second hug. And normally that'd be considered gay. But listen here, man. Listen, when you haven't seen your best friend in three months, it's not gay. It's just, it's just absolutely right. It feels good and whatnot. So anyways, uh, we stayed the night there and he owns like 20 different guns. And I've shot many guns in my lifetime, but Sarah has never shot a gun. And my other friend, Andrew, had never shot a gun either. And I was like, we got to fix that. So we go to the gun range next morning. Everything was going great. But then after that night, Sarah and I woke up and we caught this, this flu bug that my parents and siblings were just getting over. And we were sick in bed for basically the next four days. And then we had to leave. So we had fun the first two nights. And then like the last day we were there. But other than that, we were sick in bed most of the time. It wasn't very fun. It was unfortunate. But, uh, you know, life happens and you just got to make the best out of it when those things happen. You just got to put a smile on your face and just be like, you know what? I understand it's not a big deal. Like, my mom and dad felt so bad. They were taking care of us while we were in bed sick. And they were just like, I didn't, I didn't mean for you to, you know, fly down here and, 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 you know, stay down here for New Year's and get sick. And, like, we were so sick that on New Year's night, we didn't even get up. I'm pretty sure we, th you know, we slept through the ball dropping and like the fireworks and everything that you know happened at midnight we didn't even just celebrate the new year because we were too sick we were just in bed the whole time so it was kind of ridiculous but uh, anyways let me know how you guys this new year's and christmas and holidays and stuff like that went down below in the comments i am interested and i would like to know thanks so much for watching this video guys i really appreciate it subscribe so you never miss a video down below and uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed once again and uh, i'll catch you guys in future videos and whatnot have a wonderful and safe day guys goodbye everybody